to the Middle East. Now, obviously, Israel is, and uh, the story that is unfolding in Gaza is extraordinary. Israel has now expanded their operations. The, the Israeli Defence Force says it's attacked 450 Hamas targets over the past 24 hours, including uh, command centres and observation posts. Colin Rubenstein is the Executive Director of the Australia, Israel and Jewish Affairs Council and joins me now. What are your expectations uh, of what might now unfold uh, in the Middle East, Colin? Are you fearful of where we go from here? Good evening, Steve. Uh, look, it's uh, we're three weeks plus into what will be a, a long campaign uh, to unravel what everybody should understand is an evil, barbaric uh, death cult in Hamas, which has inflicted untold misery obviously on Israel and on those Israelis. They murdered 1,800 of them just over three weeks ago, holding nearly 240 hostages, but also on so many of the people of Gaza, which they continue to do hour to hour, day to day, as we speak now. They're effectively holding civilians in Gaza as hostages to their own crazed, fanatical agenda, which is to wipe out Israel, of course, and kill Jews but they have no mercy on their own people, who they see is completely expendable. And of course, we have to mention their backers uh, in Iran in particular, uh, who have no interest whatsoever in those civilian casualties, uh, but are using uh, a willing Hamas to prosecute their own objectives, which are similar in terms of attacking and undermining Israel as well. So uh, in answer to the your hostage question... Oh, oh. Sorry, Colin, go on. In answer to your question, of course, Israel has commenced the second phase of their uh, campaign, uh, which all Israelis agree has the objective of dismantling Hamas, its military uh, infrastructure and its political power. It's ruled itself out of civilized society. Nobody can live alongside this brutal organization. And, and frankly, no civilian should be inflicted with the tyranny of Hamas, which it continues to inflict on Palestinians out of our day to day as, as we speak here. Israel is doing it slowly as they must. Uh, Hamas has turned Gaza into an armed camp. It's a militarized area. They've used their civilians as human shields uh, in every which way, which of course uh, makes it extremely difficult for Israel uh, to prosecute their objective, which they must. Israel is doing everything possible to minimize civilian casualties. They're dropping uh, leaflets, they're giving warnings, they're telling the population to move south. Uh, it would be better if some of them were able to exit into Sinai, empty Sinai, uh, to save lives. There's a lot of interest in the Palestinian cause in the Arab world, but not many, too many countries are interested in taking on a temporary basis uh, Palestinians to save their lives, uh, I should add. Uh, but but Israel, uh, you know, it's waited three weeks. It's given these warnings. It's doing everything possible to minimize civilian lives. But of course, the situation uh, that Hamas has put them in and put uh, uh, Palestinians in Gaza in means, of course, there will be and there are uh, terrible casualties. And one can only feel great compassion uh, for the innocent Palestinians uh, that are suffering uh, from uh, this campaign all the legal and the moral responsibility of Hamas, I need to add. But it's it's a very difficult campaign for Israel. Uh, they'll do it, I mean, if they wanted to eradicate Hamas, they had the option of leveling Gaza. That's the last thing they would do or they should do. They're not doing that. They're being precise and as careful as they can be. Uh, but uh, when you have 500 kilometers of underground tunnels uh, that uh, they have to negotiate, when Hamas puts its command and control centers in civilian areas and underneath hospitals, mosques and schools. And indeed, yes, the Shifa hospital, we have uh, 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 very convincing evidence that it is the command, a command and control center of Hamas. Uh, it's, it's very, very difficult for Israel to prosecute its campaign as, as it must and as it will. The the intervention by six former Australian Prime Ministers, uh, what are you hearing back from uh, the Jewish community in Australia about their call uh, for uh, condemning Hamas and asking, uh, they've signed that joint statement. I mean, they've been very critical of what happened uh, originally when uh, those terrorists came across the border. 
Uh, is the Jewish community in Australia largely supportive of all those PMs, Bar Keating, that signed that letter? Absolutely. Of course, they've demonstrated, uh, you know, a great uh, sort of integrity, leadership and an understanding of what the situation is. They've unequivocally condemned Hamas and its barbaric acts of uh, terrorism, acknowledge Israel's right for self-defence, but also calling for us here in Australia to exercise restraint, uh, respect for one another and tolerance, which, of course, is the core of the viability and success so far of Australian multiculturalism. And specifically, they've condemned uh, not only the incitement of hatred, but also the incitement of violence and anti-Semitism in particular and bigotry of any of any type. And I think uh, their, their statement is a very constructive and helpful statement, I think, uh, has been uh, very much appreciated, certainly in the Australian Jewish community, and I believe uh, would be accepted and respected by the broad thrust uh, of the Australian population. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Colin Rubenstein, always a pleasure to catch up with you, my friend. Thank you very much.